So we're here at the South Metro Junior Football Lunch and I'm here with Alicia Eva from the Northern Football Club, so thanks for coming in. Um, so you've obviously gone from the Junior and now you're so what was that change like for you going from the Junior Leagues up to with Melbourne? Uh, well, when I started playing, um, I was probably the only girl running around at Auskick way back when, um, over 10 years ago now. And um, it progressively grew from one, one girl, which was me running around, to uh, maybe two or three when I started playing um, up in juniors. And then the Youth Girls competition started in 2004. Um, and from then, we've grown from four teams in Victoria to teams all over Australia. So we've seen the numbers grow and grow. Um, now we've got under 12s leagues. Um, I'm now playing in the women's league in the VWFL. Um, and from there, there's now state competition, and obviously now there's last year there was the first women's AFL game. So a lot of talent has already existed before before I was playing seniors, but now we see a lot more coming through. Yeah. And so what was it like playing the first professional AFL game? How was that for you? Um, pretty surreal. Yeah. Actually. Um, I suppose I'm a, a mad Melbourne supporter, my family's mad Melbourne, so for me it had that added little, um, I don't know, I suppose, it was, I don't know, it was heartfelt, fairly heartfelt, <laughs> um, yeah, heartfelt, it was pretty special for my family, and, um, just the whole lead up to the week, we train on, on the Thursday and Friday, and we in around the footy club, um, chat to some of, the, some of the guys down there, and spoke to some of the coaches, so it was very professional. Um, experience and then come game day we were super pumped up and um, I think as soon as we stepped out onto the D it was, you know, it, it really struck us. It, yes. was, it was amazing. That's great. And um, I don't think you've actually gotten into some coaching now. So what has it been like for me coming as a junior player to be a coach now for girls football? Um, well, I'm actually, I started off coaching um, youth girls and that was when I came too old to play in the youth girls competition. Uh, so I did a couple of years coaching the girls so now I'm actually coaching under 18 boys in the TAC Cup as well, so working with the Calder Cannons out there, um, which obviously it's very different to playing, um, and responsibilities are much different from you know going out and kicking goals on the field to being able to devise plans yeah. and talk to talk to these young guys and give feedback, blah blah blah. Um, but super rewarding for me. It's probably helped in the way I've gone about my own football as well. Um, you know, I keep learning things along the way, so. Um, yeah, it's been a really good experience for me. Yeah, great. So obviously, you know, you've come so far and you've seen the best of the Ferris Award and it's <laughs> yeah. um, what, what do you kind of your aspirations for the future now? Uh, I'll keep playing football yeah. uh, for, for a few more years. I think I'm only 22, so I've still got um, a bit of life. A bit of life. Like, um, <laughs> Young yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, I will continue to, to coach in whatever capacity that is. Uh, I'm still studying full time, um, studying psychology, so whether I, in the future I can mix the psych and coaching, see what, what kind of roles I can get there, that's probably my aim at the moment. And um, until then I'll just keep enjoying my footy and see what comes my way. Yeah, yeah. and um, obviously girls football, like you said before, has evolved so much with you being the only girl running around yeah. and having statewide competitions. Do you think more can happen though with girls football, that it can keep evolving? Definitely, um, and through my work in the in the youth girls pathway at the moment, I'm working with the state teams, and um, so much talent coming through, so much. And um, you look at the senior women running around at the moment. Um, I think some of them would be a little bit scared of, of the younger girls that we do have coming through, just because um, you know there's a greater focus on their skill development and their learning from a younger age now, and. Um, that, that is because they're becoming involved at a much younger age and that's because of the programs we have in place. So the future is really bright um, for female football and uh, we've got the Melbourne women's team at the moment, we've got the Bulldogs. I'm absolutely positive that in years to come we'll start seeing more um, AFL teams affiliated with, with a women's team and, um, and then we'll get to that national competition and that's where we're heading at the moment. So. Great, well, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you very much for having me. Oh, my God.